my name is Jason Clark and in today's tutorial I'll be going through how you can do an online payment. In order to do an online payment you'd receive an email from the intellectual property office. This email will come from our no reply at ipo.gov.tt. This email will contain an attachment that attachment would be your acknowledgement. Once you file a trademark with us, whether you do it online or at our office, you will get an acknowledgement. Once you do it online, you get your acknowledgement via email. Even if you do your filing at the office, you can request to have your acknowledgement emailed to you as well. So we'll proceed to open the email. As you can see, the subject will have acknowledgement from IPO and it also has the acknowledgement number which is 72620. In the email, it will have a hyperlink to take you to the payment portal. It will also have another hyperlink that has a manual showing you how to use our online payment portal. Please note the statement here in bold. For online payments, a convenience fee is applied. So for example, if your payment for your application is $300, it could be a little over $300 if you decide to do your payment online. We'll just take a quick look at the attachment, which is the acknowledgement. And as you can see, the acknowledgement has some key information, the amount to be paid, the mark name, the date, as well as the acknowledgement number. So now that we have verified our information is accurate and we want to proceed to pay online, we simply click this hyperlink to go to the payment portal. Once we have clicked the hyperlink, the online payment portal will load. Again, the acknowledgement number is key. Our acknowledgement number is 72620. Remember our acknowledgement number from the email. As you can see, it's right here in the subject as previously mentioned. You can also view the attachment to get the number. So our number has already been entered. We simply tick the box to verify that we are not a robot and then we click the search button and it will display our acknowledgement details so as you can see it has the acknowledgement number the date and the total and the status as well which will be outstanding because it has not been paid yet once we are okay with the details that we see before us we can click pay with GovPay TT. A pop-up box will come up. It will have the acknowledgement amount. It will have the convenience fee, which I previously mentioned. Here it is $5.19. And the total payment will be $305.19. Once we are comfortable, we simply tick the checkbox that we agree to the terms of use. If you have never read our terms of use, feel free to click and our terms of use will pop up and you can read it. Once you are comfortable, you can simply hit close. And before I close, as you can see in the terms of use, the calculation for the convenience fee, it is 0.8% of the transaction total plus $2.75 TT dollars where the transaction total is the sum of the acknowledgement total and the convenience fee. So keep this in mind that this calculation will be used for all online payments. So I'll close now and I will continue with payment. There we are at the payment page. We'll simply enter our credit card information 
please note that this is a dummy credit card and it's just for testing purposes. We will enter our expiry date and also our security code. Once we have entered our information and we are okay, we simply click confirm payment. And as you can see, our payment is being processed. And once successful, you will see a message with a green background. Your transaction was successful. Transaction is approved. And you can feel free to contact us to collect any certificates or documents resulting from your transaction. As you can see as well, the status has changed from outstanding to paid. We have the payment acknowledgement number. We have the date and time and the type of payment, which was online. You will see APS. So you have the option. You have three options, save receipt, print receipt, email receipt. So you can simply save. And as you can see, it downloaded the receipt. You can also feel free to leave a rating. If you like the service, you can give us a rating of excellent. And I'm sure you would like the service. So the other ratings can be left out. We'll also take this opportunity to view our payment acknowledgement. Feel free to save this file in a location in case you need to reference it. And once we have saved our receipt, we can simply click back. And if we have another acknowledgement to pay, we simply enter the acknowledgement number and go through the process again. And that's it for the payment process. And once you have completed your payment, your payment will be processed by us internally. And once that process is completed, you will receive another email with your receipt. And that will be it for the payment process. If you have any questions, any concerns, feel free to leave a comment or contact us.